Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And you know what this is. Maniology, Mini by Me subscription box. This is the August box. Yes. So let's open it and then we'll do nails. All right, so this is what you get when you open it. They send a card or actually two. So there's a little like, instruction example on how you can use what's in here and then some information about the items as well and here's a, an example of a style you might do very cute and then here are the items we've got this package and this package so this item first this is the bonus item you get a bonus item every month with these boxes whether you get the express without the polish or the full size and so what this is is it is a silicone collapsible cup so like you can use it this size and just put some acetone in there if you would like or you can make it the full size and you can use it to like put your brushes down in here if they need to soak or you can turn it this way and just use it to hold them like a regular cup. You can do it without of it. Maybe you wanna wash it and so you've got some soapy water in here and you're just scrubbing this on the bottom where this texture is. There are containers like this for cleaning makeup brushes. And so this is really a handy tool to have. I'm definitely gonna use it. And then you can also squish it back small when you're finished. What's in here? So we get a box of polishes, a cool new sticker, I think it actually goes this way, it's a little off. I've been sticking these on my wall, <laughs> so I'm going to definitely add this guy. And then we get two stamping plates, let's look at those. So here's the first one, this is the MXM134, and the theme of this box is liquid art fluid art I think it's called fluid art I like this because it's come with the long prints and a lot of times they're really small and so if you have a longer fingernail it's not gonna work but these will work perfectly so I'm glad those are included I'm also interested in these little French nails so my biggest concern with these French nails is that this curvature is not my favorite French curvature but also is this ultimately going to be wide enough? What if I had square nails and what if I have wide nail beds? Then it potentially wouldn't be enough to wrap around. But we're not using these today because they just don't go with the shape of nail I have on. But we might use this side. Let's see what's on the other plate though. So we have the MXM133 here. This is what I was talking about with the size of these etchings. So like they're kind of small. If I wanted to use these, I would need to be wearing shorter nails or potentially use my um, like resizing stretchy jelly stamper, the flexi stamper, yes, to pick it up and then stretch it out a little bit so that it can go just a little bit further and try and meet the length that I currently am using. So we are going to set this one to the side for now. I don't think I'm going to use it today, but who knows. So yeah, this is definitely the one we're going to go with, but let's see what polishes we got. So here are the two polishes. They're looking a little bit more pastel-y in the camera than in real life. So we've got this pink one. It is called Melt. It's a bit of like a salmon pink, but just slightly less orange. And then we have this green one. It is called drip and it's kind of like a mint as in like mint chocolate chip like artificial green green I think it is very cute so we are going to do us some fluid art with these I think we're going to use these for the fluid part and we might use just a regular black well no because that doesn't make sense because these cover too much of it let me think about it and get some supplies. We'll see what we can do. Let me tell you what I've decided. I think we're gonna have some fun with it. So I got my black and my white polish and then I've got these two and we're gonna alternate them being the base color and the color we're going over it with. And we're gonna do a sneaky pattern. So I am gonna use these shorter ones 
to make the underside and because they're long enough and then we'll do the longer ones on top but that way we get to utilize more and have more fun so first what we'll do is we'll pick up these and we'll put these on so they'll cover the tips so when you turn them over you can see it you don't stamp underneath you stamp here and then we'll paint our base color over it and then we'll do the more stamping on top so that's the plan I've got a paper towel here to scrape this off and I've got this to use for my jelly stamper for the long nails I wish longer bigger jelly stampers were really easier to come by I don't really love that this one is like this curved shape I'd rather be you know square but whatever we're gonna make it work and then I've got this monocle one pulled out just for like these and stuff all right so we'll just go black white green pink as our order so we'll start with this black one and let's take this one no particular reason I just like the way that it looks I hope this picks up I know that sometimes on the first go it doesn't because the plates not really prepped and if that's the case rubbing the whole thing down with acetone usually resolves that issue I don't like that this kind of collapses in sometimes all right so that's what we got for that let's I think I might want to actually wait on that one and do something sideways. So let's put this on here and we'll roll it across. That part's going to be covered up luckily because we kind of didn't get it even. Goodness, I've got to pay attention to where the camera is. But yeah. So that's kind of the plan for these and white next let's see here let's take this one i like the look of it all right we, <laughs> this little detachable bottom is always falling out I don't know why I don't preemptively just take it out because I know it's going to do it. Alright, so then we'll do the same thing over here. Get this put on. Yeah? Okay. Push your little extras off. Don't forget your lint roller to clean your stamper. All right, now for the green. Maybe this one? Ooh, that one did a little dip. Makes it kind of weird right there, but it'll be fine. And then I'm gonna put that one over here. Ugh, kind of missed. Let's patch it together. Sort of. There we go. That'll work. The one thing about these snail shape is it's so curved this way that you can't just push it down because it pushes the stamps and you gotta roll, but then you don't know where it's gonna land. Alright, let's turn this around and let's do a pink one. I'm thinking maybe this one. With all this white, it's kind of hard to see this stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so let's do that. Let's try and just pay attention to where we're placing that so we know that when it rolls, it's all on there. Perfect. So now is the time that we're gonna go in and cover all of these with a solid color. But first, let's clean up our plate. Do not leave your plates dirty. Can't use them like that. Okay, so what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna skip over, so we'll do the black, the white, the green, and then the pink. And so those will be our color combos for this. Let's actually start with the white, because I like to work my way in, so I'm not having to work across wet polish. Now, when you are painting with stamping polish, you wanna move quickly, because this stuff dries really fast. Don't mess around. Just get it on there well as you can 
See, that's already drying. We'll have to do a second coat once it is dry. And then use your cleanup brush to clean up any mistakes. All right, and then let's get our black one on. Good thing about these is they are super opaque. So you usually can get good coverage even if you have a design underneath. Okay, and now the pink one. This one seems to, to be a little bit more sheer, actually, and I am making a mess with it. Definitely have to do some cleanup work on this one. Look at my cuticles, all kinds of flooded. You can kind of see that white through there, but it's all right because we are gonna do two coats. Okay, and then let's get this green one on and then we will go back and do our second coats. I am really bad at painting in the lines. Let me know in the comments if you are also horrible at painting in the lines. Okay, so we'll quickly go through and do our second pass. I'm just gonna speed through it though and hopefully I do a better job. Okay, we're gonna let this dry and then I will be back. All right, those have had a little bit of time to dry, and so we're gonna do white, green, pink, black for the top marbling. And this is when we're gonna go in with this stamper. So let's get our white. I guess we can do this one first. I mean, why not? Ugh, might need to tip this bottle up. I've been having this same white stamping polish for about ever. I feel like it's probably getting low I'm to get some more soon. Let's scrape that. All right, and then do this a little rolling stamp. It's pretty good. And then I'm gonna line it up over here. I'm gonna get this all over my finger, so I'm definitely gonna have to clean it up but at least we know it's gonna cover. Yes, like that. And then, of course, as you do, you'll just go around your edges and get those little bits up. This one I'm gonna have to clean in between stamps, even if I'm not using the same one because they're right next to each other and I don't want my colors getting mixed. All right, let's go for the green. Yep. Looks great. And roll it. Ooh, that one doesn't seem to have been very dry. I think it might have been out of the frame. Look, it's got some stuck here. It's actually pushed it up here and off this edge. This pink, it's like thicker than the others because like when I was painting it on it was even kind of gloopy now I do not want to make this nail worse we had an experience like this with the um, stingrays so I'm just gonna push this down if you lick your finger you can generally push down your paint while it's still wet without making too much of a problem I really wished that had showed up better. Looks like the green does not look great on top of the pink. Unfortunately, it's not great, but it's not the worst. What's going on over here? You simmer down. <sighs> All right, now we gotta do it with the pink and hopefully this does not just go terrible. I wonder how well this is gonna show up on this black. There's our stamp. Take this off edge. All right, and then I'm gonna try and just barely push. I think I might have lifted up in some spots, but that's okay because I've got a little bit of extra stamp I can utilize if I could see what I was doing. There's some there, and then. 
flying around. Let me get some up here. Yeah, that'll work. Piece it together. Just like that other one though, like it doesn't show up incredibly well. It seems like these two colors, they're just so light that they probably would just work best when they're on a white. Not in love, especially with the transfer of this pink. That other cotton ball was getting a little gross, so we're gonna get us a fresh one. You just wanna have plenty of cotton balls. Let's clean this up. Okay, and then we'll go back to this first one and it is time to do the black. That is one that's also running low and I probably need to get some more of pretty quickly. <laughs> I use these the most because it makes the most sense. There we go. Seems like we got a little bit of a smear here, but that's all right. Try and clean it up a little bit so we don't get terrible. Okay, so we need to get this on here. Excellent, we covered the whole thing. <laughs> Gotta clean it up, of course, as you do. Okay, let's have a look. So, let me actually zoom in. So here's what we've got. I like these two. They make a little bit of sense, I feel like. But I don't really like how these look. Like the green on here doesn't look anything like it. It's muddy. And then this pink is like almost transparent, but it's not like you can do a second coat. Now the underside, that looks pretty cool. Oh, I need to clean that up. I didn't even see it was there. But that looks all right. Now the green is darker on this one because that black is so dark, but it looks great on this one, so I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, we do need to go in with a smudge free top coat before we go in with a regular top coat so we don't ruin the art that we struggled to get on here. Let me know if you get the Maniology subscription box and if you got this one. I know that you can skip them if you're not really interested. And I thought about skipping this one because I have so many marble type stamping plates, but then I was like, you know, this one is a little bit different. Plus I want those polishes because of course I do. I'm a collector. Um, but I would say it's not themey enough for it to be unique. I would say that if you have other marbling type plates, you could probably skip these, or I mean, you can always get it if you want to, because of course you can. <laughs> I did, even though I didn't absolutely need it. The fun of it is there as well. And if you do not currently get the Maniology Many By Me boxes, definitely look into it. I do have a link in the description and a discount code and that code actually does work to sign up for the boxes as well so do that and save a little bit of money and then the polishes that are in this kit will go on sale individually but it'll be a few weeks so if you do want those but you want to skip those plates you'll still be able to get them you just might want to be cautious about what colors you're using it on. Maybe do some practice samples to make sure it's actually going to show up. But I don't hate it. I would just say it's probably not my best work, but you guys know sometimes I make ugly nails, so no problem. I will get some photos anyway, and I'll stick them in here so that you can see what they ended up like. And thank you for watching this video, especially if you made it to the end. And thank you for your likes, your comments, your interaction. All of that does help the algorithm, which helps me. As you guys should be seeing by the time this posts, we are either almost at 2,000 subscribers or we have just recently made it there. How should we celebrate? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Make sure you are following my socials as well. Sometimes I post things over there that don't make it over here. And again, do check the description. It's not just maniology down there. There's all kinds of stuff. And so if any of it is useful to you, go ahead and use it. But that's it. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.